if you played Minecraft for a bit, chances are you know what a debug menu is. Most of the people do. But you probably only use like three, four informations that the game gives you here. And you may think that's all useful information there is here, but you'll be wrong. Debug screen gives us so much more useful information that you're not aware of. I can guarantee you're not using the full potential of, the of this feature. So, in this video, I want to teach you everything I know about Minecraft debug screen, going through some most basic stuff like coordinates and, and facing and light level and FPS, through stuff like locating stronghold entrances with chunk coordinates and buried treasure with chunk coordinates, ending and using E values and E rays to locate bastions, multiple chunks away through walls, and using pie charts or pie rays to locate fortresses, multiple chunks away through walls. So yeah, if you want to learn how to use the debug menu like a pro, be sure to watch till the end. Let me for example use an idle vendor. And it goes down immediately. So I know there is a chunk of entrance in this chunk somewhere. But I know, don't know where exactly. And I don't want to use more eyes of vendor. To find it. So what I do is pull up chunk codes, so I know where the chunks and borders are. F is F3 plus G. Then pull up F3 menu. And and here in the you have chunk and your chunk coordinates. Basically, the these three numbers tells you where you are in the 16 by 16. If you know there is a stronghold entrance in your chunk, you just have to make both of these number to be four. See now my first and third numbers are 4, I'll just dig down straight through the entrance. If you know you have the strong code entrance in your chunk, it will always be in 4 and 4 chunk coordinates. Okay, another useful feature with chunk coordinates. If you know you have a buried treasure really close to you. Pull up F3 plus G again to see chunk borders and pull up F3 and again looking at your chunk coordinates now you have to go to 9 and 9 okay, which is here your better treasure will always be our 9 9 chunk coordinates always Okay, another thing is when you're looking at some block, on the right side you have target block, coordinates of that target block, and block ID, which basically means sub zero, which block is it. Here I'm looking at the stone and have target block, Minecraft stone, and target fluid empty. This doesn't seem like a lot, but let me tell you on your display there are diamonds right now. Do you see them? You don't, but you can. Using this feature, target block, you can look through lava and see blocks that are on the other side. Here you can see I'm looking at an iron ore. So I know there is iron ore in lava. And if I go here, there is diamond ore in the lava. I wouldn't find those diamonds if it wasn't for, wasn't for target block. I always look with this feature through the lava to find diamonds and a lot of time I actually do. So. Let me just show you that there are actually diamonds here. I was looking at those diamonds. You wouldn't find them without this feature. Okay, so now I will show you how to immediately know if there's a bastion near you and which way it is. So I'll recommend having sodium, it is not necessary, but like if you don't already use sodium, why not boost your FPS better than Optifine and it's just great. Uh, set your entity distance to 500%. You don't have to sodium to do that, but because you can do that in vanilla. But if you have sodium, you have to unclick this feature, entity calling, you have to uncheck it. And you have to an unofficial pod, which I will link in the description for sodium. Okay, so just 
when I took Wigata that, that if you're on Vanilla you don't have to check anything you just have to make this entity distance to the right as much as 500% and, and, and you're good to go but like why are you using Vanilla just use Sodium it's better for the UFPS and shit like that just don't let of Sodium please now what you have, want to do is press F3 and look at the numbers E right here and the values and right here M and C let's, like, let's first talk about E what E is is basically says how many entities there are in your field of view so all the chunks that are visible for me even those that are behind far away it tells me how many entities are in those chunks and the right one is how many entities are in all of my loaded chunks okay so everywhere around me in 16 chunks distance because I have 16 chunks render distance set up so this basically says entity all entity loaded and all entity loaded in the field of view now here we have M and C M is uh, entity that are non permanent which is basically uh, in nether everything except piglin brutes and piglins so basically like skeletons gas uh, zombified piglins those are the m value all mobs that are non permanent which means they will they are going to despawn when we unload it and the c is creatures with which in nether is just striders so what we want to do is we want to add up the m value and c value which is 70 plus 33 which is uh, 103 and then subtract the entity value absolute entity value from that we are left with 21 which means there is 20 mobs that are permanent the, the permanent mob can be piglins piglins brood and stuff like that which if the number is around 30 which here is it's a little low but still 20 it means there's a bastion near now if we know there is a bastion near we want to check which way it is so now we are we are going to use the first e value which is the entity that are in our field of view so what you want to do is look around keep your eyes on the e value and look around and look where the number of e value is the largest where are the most entities in your render distance and for me it's pretty clearly this which is 64 right here so now what you want to do is lower your FOV as low as you can which is 30 and look closer in the direction you see spikes in. and if you look uh, yep goes from 50 33 here and goes back down so 33 the highest spike is when our bastion most likely hits so let me just check it if there is a bastion and yep here it is the bastion located pretty closely through several walls you wouldn't know that this bastion is here if it wasn't for the e-value let me just do one more test on another world Okay, so right now you can see that I have uh, 70 mobs, 30 creatures, which adds up to 104. But all entities are 140 something, so there is um, over 30 mobs, which means there is a bastion somewhere. So now we look at the first number and look here's the spike 50 something, here's another spike 50 something. Okay. Oh, uh, and I had 60 here. So let me just uh, zoom. And now we add uh, something here. Okay, so we go roughly in that direction. I just go back here. Is the a bastion here? It is, it is. I went slightly to the right, but here it is. So yeah, with, with this method, you can easily find 
if there is a close bastions and which direction you have to run. Very useful during speedruns, but also can be helpful just on your survival mode. So now that we have done the bastion, I want to show you how to find fortresses. Now that we are looking for strongholds, what you want to do is pull up F3 menu while holding down shift so we can see the pie chart. You pie chart will look like this for you. It will be on root and if it's not on root, press zero a couple times so we can see a root in the top right. Now you can see some numbers and some uh, names right next to it down. Be sure to click tick, which is for me third one, so I click three. Now level, which for me is first. Now entities, which also for me is uh, first. And now you have to click block entities, which is three for me. Now you have this pie chart, which tells you unspecified, chest and mob spawner. If you see a mob spawner, this means there is either a fortress or a bastion with magma cube spawners in your render distance. So what you want to have to do now is lower lower your render distance. I would say to four. Close the pie chart and open it up again. You don't see it. Now slowly increase chunk by chunk, which is FT plus F, until you see the spawner. Okay, I can see a chest. 13. So for me it's 13 chunks away. The spawner is 13 chunks away. Now I have to find which, I, which way it is because I don't know where 13 chunks. So what you have to do is pre hold shift, F3 and F, lower your chunks by approximately 4, close and open again. Choose one of the sides you want to go. I'll go here and go up again. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, okay, so again, or thir on 13, it appeared. If it appears, uh, if you move a chunk and appears on the same render distance, the mob spawner appears, this means it is not, if it's on the same chunk, this means it's neither to in the front of me or in the back. This means it's either to my left or to my right. So what you have to do now is uh, again lower your chunks, uh, lower your chunks to approximately four less. So for me it would be nine. Pull up it again. Go to your left on or right. I will go to my left. And do it again. F3 plus F 10, 11, 12. It appeared. So this means the spawner is roughly in that direction for me. So let me just. 12 chunks, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. I find a fortress. Means this is the 12 chunks, so probably a spawner is. Yep, it's here. See? I would have not known to look in that direction. It's not even exposed, so it would be hard to find it but thanks to Pyray I know exactly which way to go so let me just so show you the Pyray once again on another world okay so yeah let's do it one more time for practice pull up chunk borders here we have chunk borders shift plus F3 when we are in route we want to go to tick which is 3 for me so I click 3 want to go to level which is one for me so I click, click one entities which is one for me so I click one and block entities which is three for me so I click three we don't have any spawners so we slowly increase our render distance 17 to 18 19 20 21 is when the mob spawner appears for me so let me go to let's say 16 close it reopen it moved one chunk in the east 
now let's increase it so 17 18 19 20 21 22 it appeared one chunk later which means it is in the opposite direction so we have to head around 22 chunks west so let me just go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty and we can see a forest right to our right if you want travel um like the 22 box and you still don't see it means you're on the right one axis but you have to check the other one so just check the how far away from this chunk is and how far away from this chunk is and you'll see the fortress right here and the spawner should be okay it's here see it might seem hard to do but it, it's not it's really easy once you once you get hang of it you can do it very fast and it's really helpful recommend using it not only in speedruns but also in your survival world just to find easier this chunk this fortress is because it's a pain in the newer version to find those and yeah those are all the tips i have for you using the debug menu sorry for the long video i thought it was gonna be shorter but you know there's a lot of stuff a lot of explaining especially with that micro lensing and pyrace but uh, i i hope it was helpful for you i hope you will use that information to play with your minecraft world more efficiently and if you enjoyed it be sure to leave a like subscribe and thanks for watching see ya